Hi, I'm Dr. Tanya Gold. I'm a medical doctor, board certified in family medicine and holistic medicine, and I also teach yoga, and I'm a laughter yoga leader. I am Dr. Drew Gold. I am a faculty member at St. Leo University, and I am also certified as an emotional intelligence trainer. And, and together, together we, we are, are the, the Double Gold, Gold Standard. Standard. Our mission is to enhance the physical and mental well-being of all of our clients so that they can achieve optimal levels of performance. At Degoli, we offer a variety of single and multi-day training workshops, along with keynote addresses to large and small organizations, athletic teams, and a variety of other organizations. We also work with medical organizations, including patients suffering with MS, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. The proven results of our programs include fewer disputes, reduced stress, and conflict resolution, resulting in improved morality, increased performance, and better productivity. Now that you're ready to experience the double gold standard, go to digoli.com to schedule a consultation. My name is Dr. Tanya Gold. I am board certified in family medicine and holistic medicine. And my long-term goal is to get my patients well long-term by treating the root cause, figuring out what is actually going on with them, help them feel better. And I realize not everybody is going to thrive in the same way. There's unique approaches to helping each person. And I learned this from my dad. He is from the Caribbean. He came to this country, the U.S., when he was 16 years old. And he had the dream, like a lot of other people coming to this country, of making money. <laughs> Along the way, his health suffered. He was working long hours, gained a lot of weight, and his blood pressure went through the roof. It was to the point he was in his late 30s, and his doctor asked him, do you want to see your girls grow up? And he said, of course. Well, you got to change your ways right now. And he did. I was 10 at that time. He started running and we rarely got to see him because he worked so often so we asked, can we join you daddy? Can we join you? So my sister and I joined him, started running and that taught us a whole slew of different talents in terms of getting stronger, healthier, the importance of physical activity, setting goals and achieving them and it was a way to bond with our family. My mom got jealous, so she joined in as well. So it was a great family time together. We raced on the weekends, practiced during the week, and uh, got very strong. My dad lost over 50 pounds, he said without trying, ate healthy because he wanted to feel better, had more energy, uh, spent more time with his family, was happier. And I think with my patients, the same thing. Sometimes we can get jaded or lose track of the big picture perspective of what we actually want in life. So what I do with my patients is kind of step, take a step back, figure out what your long-term goals are. What is your mission? What is your purpose in life? And know that you can grow, you can aspire to great things. And the second part of that is if you're suffering, if you have an illness, you're hurting, know that your body can heal. First of all, that innate potential inside is amazing. It's astounding. And I think one of the things that's lacking in Western medicine, traditional medicine, is we don't look at that holistic or innate ability of the body to get better on its own. Um, it doesn't mean that we don't use medications when we're in dire straits or we don't use other realms. So that's why I'm an integrative doctor. I use the best of both worlds. But that said, tap into that power of the body to heal and get stronger. So when you combine the two forces, it's, it's great. So I'm gonna share a story about myself when I got sick way back when. Probably, yeah, it was actually in my 20s. <laughs> I was like, when was this? In my 20s, where I got very sick with an eye condition. I thought it was just pink eye, but it turned out to be something much more serious where I needed steroids every 15 minutes. My doctor said, if you don't take this, you can actually go blind. So I was freaking out, but then I looked at the side effects of long-term steroids because, you know, how long do I have to do this for? My doctor said, this is a chronic condition, you'll have it for the rest of your life, and you got to take the medicines anytime you have a flare. But I just couldn't buy into that. I knew there had to be something in my body to get it stronger, to figure out why this was happening, and then also treat those symptoms, the underlying cause, rather than just masking symptoms because the steroids were great, they did work, they were great anti-inflammatory, and I would never tell you never to be on medicine, but long term, my goal was not to go blind. 
So what steroids do long term is because they suppress the immune system and can actually increase your risk for cataracts and glaucoma, my doctor said, don't worry, you'll be fine, this will help now, but later on, you might go blind or get cataracts, glaucoma, and you know, we can fix it then. I was like, but I don't wanna get those things. <laughs> I wanna prevent that too. So I found a whole natural approach. I am off all steroids, woohoo, because it did actually cause me to gain a lot of weight to the point people were saying, oh my God, mazel tov, how far along are you? And totally embarrassed, not pregnant. I just smiled, <laughs> but cried inside because that is very hard when you're taking medicines with harsh side effects that sometimes you, you say, I'd rather have the disease than the actual side effects that can be detrimental long-term to your, for steroids and as, as an example, to your bones, to your muscles. I wanted strong bones and muscles. I didn't want to increase my risk for a hip fracture. I am a runner, so already I was at higher risk, that female triad where you can get weakening bones or thin uh, muscles, I had that already. So I didn't want to accelerate the problem. So thankfully, off that, I actually weight train now. So my muscles, my bones were tested. They're getting stronger. Woohoo! Remember, your body can heal and it can get stronger at any age, which I didn't even realize that. You can actually reverse osteoporosis. I didn't realize that either, but it makes sense because your bones are regenerative. As you get the muscles and bones stronger, they heal. And that's what chiropractors, if you think, why am I going to a chiropractor? They're actually helping to align that body, help stack those vertebrae so you can function better. Because when things are off, they're out of alignment, we feel it. That's the same with hormones, it's the same with blood pressure. So getting back to the story with my dad, we started running, started feeling better, my energy went up. and. You know, time passed, fast forward, I'm still running today, thankfully. I had another condition where that jeopardized my running career. I um, had severe arthritis in my neck and totally freaked out, of course. My doctor said, if you don't get surgery, you can possibly become paralyzed, especially if you're in a car accident because I had disc herniations at three different levels and they were severe. It was touching my spinal cord and they said one major jerk or fall can actually have it complete, you know, come out and it can be dangerous. And of course, I was, said, what do I do? But they wanted to do something called a fusion, which is like gluing those bones together. So normally they're stacked, they can move individually. That allows you to look up and down, turn your head. But if they're glued, you can barely move that neck. It looks like a robotic neck, where you're moving it as one entity. And the problem long-term, since I get it when I was so young, is just, Years later, as this was in my 30s, I would probably need more surgeries because it weakens or overuses the area above and below that joint line. So you can imagine if you have one strong brick, normally your neck can move individually, but now it's one area above and below has to work even harder. I didn't want more surgeries. I've met those patients who were on narcotics, had surgeries where their whole spine is fused and I, they were still in pain. And I was like, there has to be another way. So to fast forward my story, I have never gotten the surgery. It's over a decade later, actually 13 years later. I still see my chiropractor who helps me get my neck to become stronger. My, I had something called a lordotic type neck. My neck was actually very straight. It didn't have the natural C curve. So now it's actually turning back to um, and I misspoke, it's a kyphotic, so it's kind of straight and more rounded. So if you ever see people where they're hunching forward from a side where you can see, that's where my neck was. And I think it started from medical school where I had lots of books in my pockets. Well, I didn't want that either. <laughs> I was like, I don't want a, a neck like this and increase your risk for falls over time. And my grandma had osteoporosis, so I worked on posture with yoga, and now my neck, <clears throat> is returning to a normal neck, the normal C curve, and the arthritis has been going away. Again, bone is regenerative, it can fix itself. I didn't think about this, I didn't learn about this in medical school. Actually, I went to one of the top medical schools, but never studied one healthy person. We studied sick sickness, we studied pathophysiology, which is the study of all different illness entities, and we learned a lot. I can treat many diseases, but we didn't learn about nutrition, except nutritional deficiencies. 
and there was very few classes on wellness. We had some one class on spirituality, which I thought was wonderful, but that was one class versus all the other didactics, all the other learnings that we received, which was wonderful. But I felt like part of my education was missing. So I added holistic medicine later and has been a study of mine since that time. So I think in medicine, you're constantly learning anyway. So I go to programs where I can enlighten, learn how to heal the body. I've learned it personally from my illnesses, but I also share my knowledge with my patients on how to get well. And I don't believe there's a shortcut to health, but there's easier ways to get healthy. So you gotta put in the work and the effort, but there are quicker ways when you learn what the best exercise for your body is. So that's why I customize uh, programs for my patients and I also figure out nutritional plans because I don't believe everybody should be eating the exact same foods there's no one diet for everybody we have to figure out for you what your body needs so we do nutritional testing to figure out what your body's actually absorbing because you may eat a food but your body's not absorbing it well so if you're having digestive issues bloatedness gas diarrhea constipation your body's not functioning as it should we need to figure out why that is. So there's gut testing much more than a colonoscopy or endoscopy that just looks like with a camera. We actually look at the functioning and also there's tiny microorganisms. They call it the microbiome. We look at those trillions of organisms, see what your body is needing, whether you need probiotics or digestive enzymes and get you that. So again, on a big picture, we want you to feel fantastic and healthy and joyful. So the other part of the major health, so I mentioned movement that I was running, but we find the best activity for you. When I got injured with the arthritis, I had to actually do uh, different activities. I couldn't run because it hurt too much in my neck. I was able to exercise in a pool. I did some aerobics, um, but inside a pool. And then I was also able to do some stretching, gentle stretching, laughter. If you haven't heard of laughter yoga, I practice that. I'm a, certified laughter yoga leader and yoga instructor and for me that was incredible those two entities together helped change my psyche uh, through meditation relaxation i knew my body could heal i could get better and then with nutritional supplements to complement that but if you don't get your kind of head on straight if you will that to realize that recognize that your body is your best asset, your best way to help you. And your mind gets signals from your body and as well as your body gets signals from your mind. So if you don't think you're ever gonna get better, there's no way I'm never gonna get better, how likely are you to? On um, contrast, and I have a story to back this up, if you tell yourself, many stories, but I'll share one. <laughs> But if you tell yourself, I can, I'll find a way, I'll figure this out, it's amazing the resiliency of your body and mind to figure this out. And one example is a patient with MS. So she had it pretty, pretty bad. There's all different cases, but hers was to the point, her doctors told her, you're progressing and you're gonna be in a wheelchair in about a year or so. And just prepare for that, here's some stuff. And they didn't say anything else. Well, she didn't buy it. She was a librarian. She said, no way, I'm not doing this. I am going to figure out a way to strengthen my legs, strengthen my body, do, what, do whatever it takes to stay well. And 10 years later, I get to meet her. She was still a librarian, still walking, which I thought was incredible, still living her life. She had a little limp. I wouldn't say she was perfect, but no one is. <laughs> but she figured out a way to bypass or let go of any limiting beliefs. She said, I can do this. I can figure it out. Now, on another story is a gentleman who was 40, he looks more like 60, who said, Dr. Gold, I had, was in a car accident, I have back pain, I am never gonna get better, this is my life. He was on Oxycontin, the high, one of the highest doses that I've seen, plus Xanax, one of the highest doses I've seen. He was taking it three times a day. Just looked a mess, and I didn't mention there was healthier alternatives. We can start weaning him. There's cannabis available. No, 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 there's no way I'm gonna ever get better. I can't exercise, I can't do this. All the can'ts were in the room. And I, I said, honey, if you never change your mindset, we're never gonna get better. And he just let it be. And I was helping out another doctor in this case and mentioned that I do pray for him, that I want good things for him, but how likely is this gentleman to actually really improve? years from now. So I didn't have the privilege of following him up, but I suspect he might be in the same place that
that I found. And I'm also I'm working with a cannabis clinic right now, Holistic Relief, with Dr. Berger, and we are seeing incredible results with cannabis. Many patients are actually getting off their Oxycontin, their morphine, their Xanax, and you name the drug, it's amazing. Stuff that I never, Dilaudid, fentanyl, never thought possible. But these patients are saying, I have to figure it out. Not saying it's easy. I had one lady say, oh my goodness, it took me several weeks to a month to really, I mean, I had to go through a little withdrawal, but I feel amazing. And she was considered disabled. She was disabled in her 30s, an African-American woman, beautiful lady. And um, now 42, she's like, I'm ready to not be disabled anymore. I can do this. I can get stronger and I want to work. I want to... Uh, give back to society, which I was like, yes. She's like, I feel awake. When I was on these medicines, I felt asleep. And remember, these medicines do increase your risk for dementia. Uh, gabapentin is another example, but they affect that brain. So it's not functioning. Those neurons are not firing as fast as they could. And it can affect your memory, your long-term memory, your ability to function, your energy levels. You can feel more drowsy during the day. So really, and that's why they say don't operate heavy machinery if you're taking Oxycontin or any of these other narcotics. Really important to figure out, is this the way I want to live? <laughs> what do I want with my body? Do I want to be strong? Do I want to be healthy? Do I want to wither away? No, I know most people want to feel amazing. I have not, never met a patient who told me I want to feel lousy, Dr. Gold. So if you're like other patients, again, you want good life you want vitality so that's where I come in where I help you to figure out we customize personalize a program for you to meet your needs where you're at to get you to that stronger or that next level where your body can heal feel better and I've worked with people from all different age groups I've had patients in their 90s and all the way to young patients so I'm a family medicine doctor so that allows me the privilege to work with all different patients all different age groups which I love and I've seen amazing results we wean patients off medicine I see patients getting stronger overcoming major crises like divorce or job loss I know now it's more than ever prevalent of stress uh, fatigue feeling overwhelmed if you're dealing with homeschooling right now getting back to work if you're still working um, if you're out of work how to find that new job or become creative if you have a small business how to get stay in the game so you don't go bankrupt. There's so many avenues where we can explore because we help your creativity, your perspective. You need your health for all of this. So if you want to stay well, you got to do the things to get you there. And again, some people don't know, they want a quick pill. And if you go to a traditional, conventional doctor, especially during these COVID times too, they're most likely going to give you Xanax or a pill. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that short term. But in the long term, if you start getting hooked on medicines rather than handling these emotions, dealing with coping skills, figuring out ways to help you thrive, just not just survive during these times, but thrive and overcome the challenges mentally and physically, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. That, those are attributes that you can't take away from somebody. And it's amazing when you keep growing, become more resilient, you can again grow from there even more and your body whew, emotionally physically no one can break it down because you are becoming a powerhouse so we're going to be talking later uh, if you're interested you can tune in i'll uh, send the set up the event on facebook you can see shortly on the powerhouse how to build your immune system the three essentials and it's, it's incredible things you can do. And sometimes they're just simple things. Like one example is just taking some nice deep breaths in the morning and stretching out the body. I know, one of my patients who had chronic migraines, she does this now and she stretches, opens, releases her neck and she, her migraines have gone way down. We also have, have her on some supplements and she's feeling fantastic. She's able to live her life. She just finished, uh, she hiked the Pacific Coast Trail, and I don't know what's on her agenda now, but she's done amazing things. She hiked Mount Kilimanjaro. 
I mean, it highlights my life because, you know, she's an inspiration to me and to so many others. So when I can help you, you can help so many other people. And remember, it's not just what you say, it's what you do. So people will look at your activities, they'll learn more from your actions than from your words. So do speak the truth, but also do the truth. <clears throat> if what you're doing is not working, it's okay to change it up and say it's not working. <laughs> so I have to figure out another way to get it to work. Remember the definition of insanity. If we keep doing the same thing, keep doing the same thing, and we're like, wait, I want a different result. I want it, but I'm not getting a different result. You got to change it up. And it's okay to expedite that because you may say, well, I want to figure it out myself. But that could take a long time. It's like try to write a book. It's a lot easier to get a mentor, get somebody who's already written a good book, a successful book, ask them what they did, and just do it. I'm living proof you can overcome a chronic disease. You don't have to get surgery. If it's not an emergent surgery, there are other things you can do. If they're recommending neck, back surgery, you have disc herniations from that. Not exclusions where the disc is completely removed, but it's not an emergency, but it's an urgent situation. Because my, my doctors even said, you have to get this next week. I'm like, I wasn't gonna die if I didn't get it, but I was in pain, but I found a different path. I can share that with you. I can help you, and I've helped a lot of people avoid surgeries where we know back surgery is 60% effective. So that means 40% get the back surgery and it's still in pain. Now, if it helps you 100%, of course, go with it. <clears throat> if you're getting steroid injections and they help you, just be aware, be educated of side effects long term. And if they want to give you this chronically or you're getting it and it's not working, know that there's other paths for you. There's other ways to get better. So this is Dr. Gold with Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. Wanted to just share from my heart today. I know I kind of spoke a little random. That's how my brain works. But my goal is to be genuine, authentic with you. And I'm not here to sell you anything. Just know that my services are available if you're interested. And I am happy to speak with you. So I'll leave my contact if you want to get in touch with me. Or if you know somebody else who can benefit from my services, let me know. And the other part is if this information helps you today, you can share it with other people. It really does uh, light up my life just to help somebody any time of the day. Um, those words can help them make some different uh, choices so they can get to a different place and uplift their souls, uplift their health, so they can thrive in life and live optimally. Take care now. Have a wonderful day.